you join the HBCU family, you become part of the tradition of breaking barriers in your community, breaking ground in your career, and bringing it with everything you do. From how you look to how you move in the classroom, on the court, and on the field. That's why Academy Sports and Outdoors is proud to celebrate the HBCU legacy and all those to add to it in their own way. We are a limitless future, opening new doors, new ways, new everything. We are past, present, and future, all in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. Chevrolet, honored to support the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Hydration dropping. Rapid rehydration initiated. Unlock specialized blend of five electrolytes. Rapid rehydration to get you back on your game. Gator Light. Now available in powder and Gator Light Zero Sugar. People who come to Cricket stay with Cricket. Like one of our favorite customers, Michelle. I started my own app company, and with Cricket, I'm able to answer calls from my engineers and investors and know my signal's going to be great. If I had to describe Cricket in two words, they would be reliable and affordable. 5G Boss Mode Activate. Smile, you're on Cricket. HBCUs are anchored by legacy. They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization and upgrades of the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream, all hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. Retool Your School, we're powered by purpose. Resume run. Hydration dropping. Rapid rehydration initiated. Unlock specialized blend of five electrolytes. Rapid rehydration to get you back on your game. Gatorlite, now available in powder and Gatorlite Zero Sugar. Welcome to the 2023 SWAC Softball Championships here in Gulfport. We started with eight, we are down to two. The number one seed in the West, the Panthers of Prairie View. The number two seed in the West, the Grambling State Lady Tigers. Glad you can join us here on the SWAC Digital Network. I'm Charles Edmond, it's been a fun week, and here we are, we look at Grambling, Eliminated the Lady Braves six to five to get here. They started out with a three to one win over FAMU. They beat Bama State four nothing. And of course, they lost to Prairie View five to two and then eliminated the Lady Braves earlier in an extra inning game, six to five. Meanwhile, the Lady Panthers of Prairie View trying to win their second straight SWAC tournament championship, led by head coach Vernon Bland, who's been a part of Prairie View A&M, a Prairie View alum. He's done this for over a decade, trying to win the second straight tournament. For Prairie View, they beat Jackson State two to one. They beat Bethune Cookman six to one, and they beat Grambling five to two. If Prairie View wins tonight, they win the championship. If Grambling wins, then we'll be back here tomorrow. So it should be a fun tournament, to say the least. The pitching matchups for this championship matchup. Kalen Massey, 11 wins during the regular season. 
11 and 5 with a 2.70 earned run average. 17 starts during the season for Kalen Massey. Massey 1 and 0 in this postseason. She'll be opposed by Aaron Gibbs. 10 and 4 during the season. 12 starts during the season. And for Gibbs, this is her third appearance in the championship. She has pitched 10 innings as we get ready for the start of this championship. We're going to take a time out here. We'll have starting lineups, play by play. Coming up, Charles Eppin here. We appreciate the coverage. We appreciate everybody tuning in. And it boils down to two. We started with eight. We're down to two for the championship. We'll take a break. We'll be right back after this on the SWAC Digital Network. We are a limitless future, opening new doors, new ways, new everything. We are past, present, and future, all in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. Chevrolet, honored to support the Southwestern Athletic Conference. When you join the HBCU family, you become part of the tradition of breaking barriers in your community, breaking ground in your career, and bringing it with everything you do. From how you look to how you move in the classroom, on the court, and on the field. That's why Academy Sports and Outdoors is proud to celebrate the HBCU legacy and all those to add to it in their own way. Welcome back to Gulfport. Let's go to Jerome Blake, our PA announcer for our starting lineups. Starting in left field, number 10, Jayden Moore. Starting at shortstop, number 20, Jermaine Collins.
Guarding at second base. Number two, Brandy Warren. Your catcher is number 10. are your lineups for this now, game. Coming from the heart and soul of the game that we love so much, let's play ball! We are ready for action in the SWAC Championship. So you look at the Lady Tigers who bat first, the Kia Hall, the fourth season head softball coach for the Lady Tigers. Her second head coaching job in this conference. Formerly the head coach at Alabama a and from 2014 to 2018. As, a, as the Lady Tigers will bat first. Lady Tigers road to get here as they take on the Lady Panthers yet again. The number one and number two seeds in the West. For Grambling, they beat FAMU 3-1. Alabama State four to nothing. Lost to this Prairie View team five to two, and beat all corner in extra innings six to five. As you see, Prairie View, England Massey, eleven and five, twenty-three appearances during the season, seventeen starts during the year. For Massey, this is her second appearance. Seven innings pitched here in the postseason with two strikeouts, a walk and five hits. If Grambling wins this game, we'll be back here tomorrow for a winner take all. If Prairie View wins this game, they win the SWAC championship. We are ready to get underway. Glad you can join us on the SWAC Digital Network. Prairie View, Grambling for the championship. Nice moment at Kia Hall and Vernon Bland exchanging pleasantries before the first pitch. And Kaylin Massey's first offering to Kaylin Moore as ball one. We are underway here for the championship. Pitch to Moore, strike call. One and one to count. Eddie Brown. Our home plate umpire, Mario Belton at first, Mike Hall at second, and Thad Bridges at third. Here's the pitch, a slap off to the left side, and it's going to land out of play. Great crowd here for the championship. Ready to try to win their second straight tournament title for Grambling. Had to battle all tournament. But get it done. One and two, the count, the pitch, a slap to third. One out. 
Jalen Davis throws out more. One away. Deja Collins, the shortstop. Freshman, home run and 44 runs, batted in. Base is empty. One out. Pitch is high. Ball one. Another count. Preview Grambling for the championship. Preview wins this game. They win it all. If Grambling wins, we'll be back here tomorrow. It's fifth strike call, one and one. One the count. Asia Collins, 143 in the postseason. Eighth at bat. The 1 1. Popped up on the infield. And Massey will haul it in. Two away. And bring up India Wells, the second baseman. Wells, 154 in this. Both season. India Wells, 315 during the year. Which is high ball one. Grambling will send the lefty Aaron Gibbs, the freshman, to the mound for the Lady Tigers. Here's the 1 0. That's what I call 1 and 1. Won the count. These two teams know each other so well. The eighth meeting between these two teams, six during the regular season. Pitch strike called. Brave, you won the first five. Grambling won the last game between these two teams in the regular season. And then in the postseason, Brave, you won five to two. Here's the one two. Oak to second, three hops, inning over. One, two, three, inning for Massey. After a half inning, Grambling nothing. Preview coming up. SWAC championship matchup. Preview and Grambling. Panthers coming up after this on the SWAC Digital Network. HBCUs are anchored by legacy. They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization and upgrades of the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream, all hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. Retool Your School. We're powered by purpose. join the HBCU family. You become part of the tradition and bringing it with everything you do in the class. You're in Gulfport. Glad you could join us here for the SWAC Championship round. Top two seeds in the Western Division, Braveview and Grambling. As you look at the Lady Tigers, starting pitcher Aaron Gibbs, the 5'6 freshman from Cerritos, California. Gibbs, 10 wins during the season. Really good ERA, 2.39. Facing the Lady Panthers, leading it off. And Nunez. Nunez, 3'11". During the regular year, led the team in homers with seven. 27 runs batted in, pitch inside, ball one. We're underway, bottom one. Grambling went down in order. One and on the count, the pitch. Inside, two and oh. Swack would like to thank the following sponsors. 
Cricket, Rocket Mortgage, Nike, General Motors, Academy Sports, and Outdoors, Home Depot, Pepsi, and TIAA. Here's a 2-0. Oh. Strike call, 2-1. Oh, Nunez. 3-11 during the regular season. Here's a 2-1. Two and one the count. Pitch misses outside. Pitches outside to Brandy Juarez. Juarez, the second baseman. Count is two and one. It's a strike called. Two and two. Two and two the count. One out. Two, two. This is outside, full count. So three and two to the number two Juarez. Three, two, full count. Review with a bunch of players that made the all-conference team playing for the second straight championship. And a one-out walk to Juarez. It'll bring up the catcher, Viviana Figueroa. Figueroa, 167 in the postseason. Figueroa, the lefty. Facing his lefty. First pitch misses outside. One and all the count. Of course, the Panthers, Bravey alum, leading. This program, Bird and Bland. This pitch is low. Bird and Bland, a Prairie View alum, his 12th season. Program's all time winning as coach. Time called. Count is 2 0. Oh. Bottom of the first inning. One out walk to Juarez. Two and all the count, runner at first. Here's a 2 0. Ground ball to first. And Foltz steps on the bag. Moving Juarez to second. And it'll bring up Raina Lewis. At the plate is 44, Raina Lewis. Raina Lewis, 300 average in the postseason, 11th at bat, three hits, two runs batted in. There's a runner at second in front of her, and Juarez, the pitch strike called. Green Gibbs, pitcher for Grambling. It's a jam to work through here. Runner at second, scoreless on that hitter right on the side. So Lewis hit by a pitch. So the Panthers have two on, two out. 21, Jalen Davis at the plate. 
Jalen Davis, 375 in this postseason. Ninth at bat. A walk and an RBI for Davis. And during the season, Davis, six home runs. This pitch misses outside. 26 runs batted in. Second on the team behind Nunez with seven during the year. Two on, two out for the Panthers. The pitch misses outside. Count is 2-0. and oh. Of course, the Panthers won last year's tournament, went to the Oklahoma Regional. Or will the SWAC champion wind up when this tournament is over? Softball, typically, like in baseball, they try to schedule teams in close proximity. Pitch misses outside. Of course, going to Oklahoma from Prairie View, not a bad ride. Three and all the count, two out. Here's the 3-0. Right down the middle, three and one. Three and one the count, two out. There's the three one. Ball four. Why did they try to stay away from Davis? Got a base open, but you load the bases. Two walks and a batter hit, and they're loaded up for Aaron Talley, the designated player. Tally 333 in this postseason, 10th at bat. Bases loaded. Juarez at third, Lewis at second, Davis at first. Good strike called. Four umpire crew here. Championship again. If Prairie View wins this game, they won it all. If Grambling loses this game, we will force a second game tomorrow. Pitch off speed, high, one and one. One and one the count, two out, bases loaded for the Panthers. Scoreless. Here's the one, one. One and two. And Coach Vernon Land, a Chicago native. One and two, the count, two out. Gibbs gets the sign and brings it home. Low and inside, gets away from the catcher on plate umpire was in the way as well. Not far enough away, running one to advance. Count is two and two. Two and two, the count, two out. Oh, the home plate umpire shaking up here. He's going to need a little time. Like he's holding, it's trying to walk it off his left knee. A little collision there behind the plate. He says he's okay. And umpires have a such a tough job as it is, especially the home plate umpire. And he can continue. Two and two, the count. Two out. Pitch from Gibbs. Foul straight back. Now remains two and two. Two out, bases loaded with one out. Juarez walked. And then with two out, Lewis was hit. Davis walked to load the bases. Two, two. Full count. Three, two. Full count. Bases are loaded, three and two, two out in the scoreless game. Bottom one, here's the three, two. There's a long fly ball, deep right field. This ball's well hit and it's a grand slam. Aaron Talley touches them all. 
a grand slam to right field, and the Panthers lead four to nothing. Only a second home run hit in this tournament, and Aaron Talley got it up, and she hit it out. Right in our wheelhouse. Very little wind. And boy, there's no doubt about that one. Four to nothing. Panthers scoring Juarez, Lewis, and Davis. Four nothing Panthers. Two out bases empty. Four runs. One hit. Two were walked, one was hit, and the grand slam. Four nothing, Panthers. Pitch strike called. Aaron Talley. Talley, 269 during the season. She hit six home runs. This pitch is high. The Destiny Smith, the shortstop. She put a charge into that one. Panthers with a four to nothing lead, bottom of the first inning. Seventh man to bat in the inning. She misses outside. Now Gibbs trying to settle back in. Count is two and one, bottom one. Preview four, Grambling nothing, bottom of the first inning. Two walks, a batter hit, and a grand slam. Time called. Count is two and one. Here's the two one. Chopper foul. Two and two. Just two home runs hit in this tournament. Alabama State hit one, and the grand slam by Tally. Two and two. At the end of the bat, one hopper to second, and the throw is there, and the side is retired. But the Panthers send seven to the plate, four runs, one hit, two walks, Batter was hit, and nobody left. Grand slam by Aaron Talley. Puts the Panthers up four to nothing. Top two coming up in the championship here on the SWAG Digital Network. We are a limitless future. Opening new doors, new ways, new everything. We are past, present, and future. All in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. Chevrolet, honored to support the Southwestern Athletic Conference. join the HBCU family, you become part of the tradition and bringing it with everything you do in the classroom and on the field. That's why Academy Sports and Outdoors is proud to celebrate the HBCU legacy and all those adding to it. We welcome you back to Gulfport where a fast start for the Panthers. Four to nothing here in the second inning. With one out, Juarez walked, Lewis was hit by a pitch, Davis walked loading the bases, and a grand slam by Aaron Talley. Panthers off to a good start. Grambling coming up in the top of the second inning. Warren Irvin, the designated player, leading it off. Top two. Massey with a 4-1 lead. It's pitch strike called. We're underway. Fans, remember, catch your 
favorite SWAC games, conference stats, updates, scores, and news from around the SWAC on the go with your mobile devices. Follow the SWAC on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter by searching the username the SWAC. I'm out to the left side. Oh, and to the count. The Panthers strike first in the first. I was talking with somebody the other day about the lack of homers hit. The wind has played a factor. It's been blowing in most of the time. You know, kind of keeping the balls in the ballpark. Only two home runs so far hit. There was no doubt about Aaron Talley's shot in the right. Four nothing Prairie View. All went to the count. The number four hitter Irvin. Off speed, pitches low. One and two the count. One out. One, two, fastball misses. Two and two. This is on the outside corner. Here's the pitch. Takes this the other way. It's going to drop foul. Foul. And the Kia Hall wants to challenge this, it appears. Yep, I can hear her say she wants to challenge it. She wants to challenge it. She came out and said she wants to challenge it. Now you get two challenges. Let's see if she sticks with the challenge or can't challenge it. Oh, can't challenge that. She wanted to come out and challenge it. Was aware she can't challenge that. It's down the line. Oh, he has foul. You can tell the the pellets coming up on the foul side of third. She would have lost that challenge. If it if it was challengeable, she would have lost it. Two and two the count. Another foul. Of course, we've seen a bunch of challenges throughout this tournament. Yesterday, on Corn and Bama State. Two challenges by the Lady Braves were overturned in their favor. Here's a 2-2. Chopper too short. Nice play and out at first. Nia Jones at the plate. One out, Nia Jones the catcher. Jones, the sophomore, hit 276 during the regular season. Mr. Jones, strike called. Jones, 083 here in the tournament. Kaitlyn Massey, seven innings pitched in this postseason. Of course, Grambling eliminated the Lady Braves and have to come back and take on the Panthers. Here's the next pitch, strike called on the outside corner. Two out. And it'll bring up Tatiana Robinson, the third baseman for Grambling. Robinson, 364 in this tournament. Four hits, score three runs, two RBIs, which is inside ball one. The first five have been set down by Kaylin Massey. Four to nothing, Prairie View on a grand slam by Tally. Here's the 1-0, strike call, one and one. Ooh, 
One and one to Calvin. This pitcher check swing. Foul one and two. For Vernon Bland, prior to his stint as head coach, Bland served as an assistant for two years. Time called. And now we have a conversation here. Yeah, I don't know what this conversation could be about. Conversation could be about here. The check swing. Oh, they're trying to determine whether or not it was a batter. It hit the player or hit the bat. They huddled up and played umpire says it hit the bat. One and two the count. Two out. Well, Kia Hall wanted to challenge a foul ball down the left side and wanted a conversation about that check swing. Pitch is high, two and two. Two and two the count, two out, second inning. This pitch strike called. Full count, three and two. Three and two the count, two out. Here's the 3-2. Round ball is short. Throw across, and the inning is over. So Massey has set down the first six she has faced. Bottom two coming up. 4-0 Panthers. 8-9-1. and one. Barnes Garcia, top of the lineup, coming up. After this, the SWAC championship here from Gulfport on the SWAC Digital Network. We are a limitless future, opening new doors, new ways, new everything. We are past, present, and future, all in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. Chevrolet, honored to support the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Dropping. <laughs> Rapid rehydration initiated. Unlock specialized blend of five electrolytes. Rapid rehydration to get you back on your game. Gator Light. Now available in powder and Gator Light Zero Sugar. We welcome you back to Gulfport. I'm Charles Edmond. Glad you could join us. We're on the SWAC Digital Network. I'm on the socials, Twitter, Tall Man Radio, on Facebook, Charles Edmund. Let me know what you think about the coverage. It's been a lot to unpack, a lot to talk about, a lot of exciting games, low scoring games. Here we are at the bottom of the second inning. Maya Barnes stands in for the Lady Panthers. They're up 4 0. It's a big inning here for Gibbs. Trying to settle things down for Grambling. I was talking um, with some of the Prairie View coaches before the game and they're like, look, Grambling's a team that's really gonna come after you late. And we've seen Grambling do that. In late innings against this Prairie View team, late innings against Alcorn. It's a hard team to put away. They keep fighting, they keep battling, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Maya Barnes at the plate. Barnes at 161 during the season, and the pitch is high, 3-0. and oh. You know the count? 
Bottom two, four nothing preview in case you just missed it. A grand slam by Aaron Talley for the Panthers. And now they have the lead off on in Maya Barnes. It's the third walk issued by Gibbs. And we're gonna get a pitching change coming up here for the Lady Tigers. So a pitching change coming up for Grambling. We'll take a break here. We'll tell you about it after this. 4 nothing Prairie View leadoff is on for Prairie View. We'll be right back after this. People who come to Cricket, stay with Cricket. Like one of our favorite customers, Michelle. I started my own app company, and with Cricket, I'm able to answer calls from my engineers and investors and know my signal's going to be great. If I had to describe Cricket in two words, they would be reliable and affordable. 5G boss mode activate. Smile, you're on Cricket. You join the HBCU family. You become part of the tradition and bringing it with everything you do in the classroom and on the field. That's why Academy Sports and Outdoors is proud to celebrate the HBCU legacy and all those adding to it. Say that again. And a new lady in the circle is number 22, Jamisha King. Is that good? Number five. Ball one. Audrey Garcia, the center fielder. The third in the season. The ball runs to the board of the bat in. The score is four to nothing. Curry, you bottom of the second of the Panthers. Here's one of them. Fielded at third, the throw across is out. Vernon Bland, does he challenge? Does he decide to challenge this? And he wants to see, yep, he's gonna get one of his two challenges. So we'll take a look at it. As you see here, oh, it's gonna be close. From the third base side, let's see. She is safe. Yes, you see the ball. So this is probably going to be overturned based on what we see right there. Good camera work. I think this should be overturned, and they do overturn it. So Vernon Bland keeps his two challenges. After the sixth inning, the umpires can initiate challenges after the sixth. So Vernon Bland has a call overturned. So a walk and an infield single, and the Panthers have two on and none out. Mia Nunez, high ball one. First and second. And the Panthers are batting around here. That's the first hit. So the tenth at bat. Panthers have been issued three walks, an infield single, a batter hit, and of course the grand slam. So just the second hit for the Panthers. Four runs, two hits. 
batter hit, three walks. One and on the count. King looking into the dugout. There's a little sun off to the west. Let's see what the sign is. I think she's going to get it from the catcher. Nunez stands in. The pitch, square in the butt. Pitch is low. Count is two and one. Grand slam by Aaron Talley, the designated player. But the Panthers on the board. Now they have two on and none out. The pitch. Slap to third, off of third. They throw over to second, safe there. So the runner at third is out. 5-4, fielder's choice. And runners on at first and second. So it takes out Barnes. Garcia at second. Nunez at first. So it'll bring up Brandy Juarez. Walked her last time up. So runners on at first and second. Pitch high. The first game the Panthers played against Jackson State, it was two to one, and they left 11 runners on base in that game. I was talking with Vernon Bland about that after the game. He said, there have been other games in the tournament last year in which we left a bunch, but have found a way. Here's a bunt. It's a fair ball, and the throw is low, but out. Well, it's a good play behind the plate by Nia Jones. Now with two runners on at second and third, runners two out. Second and, third. second and third, two out. Viviana Figueroa, round is to first or last time up. The pitch, strike call. Brave you with four in the first. They have second and third, two out here in the second. Count is 0-1. Pitch misses outside. We're one. One and one. One and one the count, two out. Four nothing. Prairie View is the 1-1 hit foul off to the left side. Count is one and two. Prairie View trying to add to their lead. Grambling trying to get out of the second inning. Here's the pitch from King. A shot right back to her. Inning over. So a uh, walk in an infield single, and the Panthers strand their third runner. We play two, four nothing, preview. Panthers win this game, they win the title. If Grambling wins this game, we'll be back here tomorrow. We'll be back, bottom of the lineup. Johnson, Russell, Fultz, Grambling doesn't have a hit so far. We'll see if that changes after this on the SWAC Digital Network. Zoom run. Hydration drop. Rapid rehydration initiated. Unlock specialized blend of five electrolytes. Rapid rehydration to get you back on your game. Gatorlite, now available in powder and Gatorlite Zero Sugar. We are a limitless future. Opening new doors, new ways, new everything. We are past, present, and future. All in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. Chevrolet. Honored to support the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Welcome you back to Gulfport, Mississippi. Man, the difference between night and day. This time yesterday, rain 
Thunder and lightning around, but not the case today. Well, on the humid side at times, but as the sun starts to set, I think we'll have a pleasant evening here. Again, if the Panthers win this game, they win the championship. Grambling's trying to force a winner take all tomorrow. Tamaya Johnson stands in for the Tigers. Grambling doesn't have a base hit or base runner. The first six set down by Massey. She has struck out one. Four ground ball outs and a fly ball back to her. Here's the 1-0. Strike called. One and one to count. 7-8-9 for the Grambling Tigers. The number two seed in the West. Here's the 1-1. A speed strike called one and two. A floater couldn't pull the trigger. Here's the one two. High two and two. Two and two the count. The two two coming up. From Massey to Tamaya Johnson here in the third. Full count. I have to apologize. I've been saying the word riser all tournament. And I was corrected. It was a rise ball. And I have been saying riser. Three and two the count the pitch. Foul off to the right side. Count remains three and two. Grambling trying to get something going here. Four nothing. King closed the door in the second inning. Grambling's up in the third. Here's the pitch. Another foul. Said it all tournament. Players very rarely get cheated. You don't see three pitch at bats. They're battling. All tournament. And a battle here between Tamaya Johnson, Kaylin Massey. Three and two the count. The pitch. Uh, chopper foul off to the left side. The count remains three and two. Top of the third inning. Four nothing Panthers. They scored four in the first with one out of walk and then with two out of batter hit. Another walk to Davis and a grand slam from Aaron Talley. Full count three and two. All four. First base runner for the Panthers. A leadoff walk to Johnson. And it'll bring up Deja Russell. Russell, the right fielder. Russell, 182 during the postseason with two RBIs. And for Russell, 212 during the regular season. There's a bunt foul. Let's see how Grambling plays this here. Down four, top three. You just play it straight up, try to sacrifice. Get a lot of softball in front of you. Try to figure it out, get a run in, just go from there. When you feel like you have to go get solid at bats and just get on base at this point. It's one of the better pitchers in this league. And Aylin Massey. Here's the 0 1. A chopper back to Massey. Could be two. Throws for short for one over the first. It's a 1 6 fielder's choice. Russell at first. Let's hit right back to her. Massey. Shortstop with the catch. And just too much speed there. Russell, fast runner. Gonna bring up Anna Foltz. Foltz, 091 in the tournament, 12th at bat. Here's the pitch. Try called. 0 1 to the nine hitter, Foltz. One on, one out. 
Braveview with a 4 0 lead, top of the third inning. This pitch is low. One and one. Grambling Tigers beat FAMU three to one. Beat Bama State four to nothing. Lost to this Panther team five to two. They were down five nothing. And then one in extra innings over the Lady Braves. A foul off to the left side. Panthers won all three of their games. Two to one over Jackson. Six to one over Bethune Cookman. And five to two over Grambling. Eighth meeting between these two teams. And the Panthers have won six of the seven. This pitch is inside. Count is one and two. Try to bust her inside. Two and two the count. They turn the lights on here at the Gulfport Sportsplex in a couple of weeks. We'll have baseball in Atlanta. Here's the 2-2, Chopper off of Massey to short backhand, and everybody is safe. Shortstop had to cover second. Massey broke it down. But the shortstop had already vacated her position. Watch this here. Off of Massey, you see the shortstop vacated. She had to go back and get it, but by that time, Fultz had beat it out. So a fielder's choice and an infield single Top of the lineup coming up here for Grambling. Caitlin Moore. So Grambling with an opportunity here as the infielders huddle up for the Lady Panthers. So through the first nine in the lineup, Massey set down the first six, but she's given up one hit, has walked one, and has struck out one through the first nine. So first and second, top of the lineup for Grambling. Aitlin Moore, pitches high, ball one. One and all the count, one out. Four nothing. Preview with the lead, a grand slam by Aaron Talley. There's a bunt, side foul, one and one. Well, not a bad play if you can make it work. You bunt them over, second and third, and you bring them in. You got a brand new ball game. Top of the third inning. The count is one and one. One and one the count, the pitch, a bunt. Fielded by the catcher and the throw crosses there. First baseman got down, and the Panthers catcher Figueroa on the sack. Let's watch this here. Well, it's a shot of the runners getting the third. First baseman got down, second baseman covering. 2-4. It moves runners to second and third. Russell at third, Fultz at second. India Wells stands in with an opportunity for the Tigers to get two. Lead off walk, fielder's choice, infield single, second and third. For Grambling, a chance to get one, maybe two here in the third inning. Pitch for Massey. Chopper foul. Number three hitter for Grambling. Four nothing. Preview with the lead. Four runs, two hits. There's a shot in the right. It's going to drop for a base hit. One run scores. Two runs are going to score. And it's four to two. And Dia Wells with a single. Scoring Russell and Fultz. Four to two. Brave you. Single scores two. India Wells stands in with an opportunity to make this a one-run game. So here comes Grambling. Pitch 
pitch strike called. So here comes Grambling. Lead off walk. Kind of got things going for him. An infield single. Sacrifice helped. And Wells. Plate. This pitch misses. One and one the count. So Grambling with a couple here in the third. This pitch inside. Count is two and one. Two and one to count, two out. Two one. Strike call, two and two. Grambling with a couple here in this third inning. 4-2. Panthers, here's the pitch, a chopper foul. Foul it right off her foot, she goes down. And she's walking it off. Count is two and two. I'm talking with the uh, assistant coach before the game, he's getting ready. Talking about just Gremlins, a team that fights, gets better as the game goes on. Here's a ground ball to short, and the inning is over. But Gremlin gets back in it. Two runs, two hits, a walk, fielder's choice. Gremlin strands their first runner. We'll be back after this timeout. Bottom three. Top of the lineup coming up for the Panthers, Lewis Davis and Tally. After this on the SWAC Digital Network. We are a limitless future. Opening new doors, new ways. New everything. We are past, present, and future. All in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. Chevrolet, honored to support the Southwestern Athletic Conference. People who come to Cricket stay with Cricket. Like one of our favorite customers, Michelle. I started my own app company, and with Cricket, I'm able to answer calls from my engineers and investors and know my signal is going to be great. If I had to describe Cricket in two words, they would be reliable and affordable. 5G Boss Mode Activate. Smile, you're on cricket. Welcome back as you look at Grambling's dugout and you look at the Tigers getting back into it. On a couple of runs to the top of the third inning. Panthers coming up in the bottom of the third inning. Raina Lewis will lead it off. Jalen Davis, Aaron Talley coming up in this inning. She hit the grand slam. Lewis at the plate. Facing King, who took the place of Gibbs, who went two innings. The second inning of work for King. Offense has gotten on track a little bit. 4-2. If Preview wins this game, they win the championship. If they don't, Grambling wins. We'll be back here tomorrow for one or take all. One and on the count. This pitch strike called. One and one. One and one the count. Here's the one one. Misses outside. We talked about uh, Vernon Bland, the head coach for the Prairie View Panthers. Interesting conversation with his assistant. You watch him down at the first baseline, he's got a, a, a brightly colored card in his hand. And I talked to him about that before the game. Joseph Lane, the assistant coach, he was talking with him before the game. He's been here as long as 
Coach Bland has been head coach. She has a two hopper to short in the hole. The throw is there. One away. I'll tell you what, King has done a nice job. She set down the first four. And the run one out. At the plate is 21, Jalen Davis. Jalen Davis walked her last time up. Joseph Lane, he calls himself an analytics analyst. He follows the ebbs and flows. He's in the business world and he deals with the analytics. He loves crunching the numbers, tendencies, trends. You see the orange card. He has an orange card down at the first baseline. He looks at, he says he's got that for every game. Goes back and refers to it. There's a foul out to the right side. I asked him about this season and what it's been. He says it's been purposeful is the word he used. I mean, a lot has happened behind the scenes. The player was lost their life. Another one seriously injured. This was in the fall. There was a pop-up. Shallow left center, it's gonna be caught it short. Two out. As Collins hauls it in. Aaron Talley. Now here's the important one here. As the catcher Jones going out to talk with King. Reminding her, hey, she just hit the grand slammer last time up. How do you pitch to her? How do you pitch around her? Bases are empty. I think they probably wouldn't have an issue with putting her on, pitching to her, but not pitching to her. We'll see if that's the case. Pitch from King. Strike call on the outside corner. Pitching away from her. It's one of those situations you, you pitch to her, but you don't want to pitch to her. You don't want to put her on either. If you lose her, that's fine, but don't lose the softball. Pitch misses outside, so they're staying away. First one on the outer half. This one outside as well. Count is one and one, two out. Base is empty, four to two. Prairie View, bottom three. Pitch from King. Foul off to the left side. Count is one and two. One and two to count, two out. One, two pitch. Foul straight back. Another thing Joseph Lane told me, I asked, Ask him, I said, what about Vernon Bland? What is it that we don't know? He said, Vernon Bland doesn't forget a thing on this softball field. He can relate to a play that happened two years ago. He's got great memory. And Joseph Bland says, what he has, I don't have. He doesn't have that. He's got to write stuff down. This pitch is low. In other words, saying that, hey, Coach Bland has great recall. Two and two the count, two out. 4-2, Panthers. Panthers win this game. They win their second straight tournament championship. There's a fly ball, shallow right, and a diving catch at second. Leaping, bringing it in for the Lady Tigers is India Wells, and the side is retired. We go to the fourth inning. Good play as we look at it here. I mean, that was shallow. That's one of the better plays we've seen here. Going back, oh, over the shoulder catch. Holding on to it and letting the umpires see it. Side is retired. We go to the fourth inning. Grambling coming up 4-2 preview. Middle of the lineup coming up for Grambling. We'll get to it after this on the SWAC Digital Network. You join the HBCU family. You become part of the tradition of breaking barriers in your community, breaking ground in your career, and bringing it with everything you do. From how you look to how you move in the classroom, on the court, 
and on the field. That's why Academy Sports and Outdoors is proud to celebrate the HBCU legacy and all those to add to it in their own way. We are a limitless future, opening new doors, new ways, new everything. We are past, present, and future, all in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. Chevrolet, honored to support the Southwestern Athletic Conference. We welcome you back to Gulfport, the 2023 SWAC Softball Championship. Two weeks from now, we'll be in Atlanta at Georgia Tech for the 2023 SWAC Baseball Tournament. What will that bring? Might be just as exciting. We've got eight teams there. Alabama State trying to win their second straight tournament championship. They played in the Tennessee Regional last year when they won the title. 4-2, preview. Pitch strike called. All won the count. Lauren Irvin grounded to shorter last time up. Top of the fourth inning. 4-2, Panthers. Irvin slaps it foul. One, two. Top of the fourth. Slapped in the right and couldn't get there. In the left field, we got extra bases here. Irvin around second. Motors in the third. They're going to waver around. Here is the throw. It's offline. Inside the park home run. And it's a four to three game. Irvin circles the bases, and it's a one-run game. Got Byer, and Irvin never stopped running. Made the turn. Coach Nakia Hall sent her home, and the throw was offline, and we have a four-to-three game. An inside-the-park home run. Officially ruled. So we've had two home runs. One to leave the yard and an inside the park home run by Irvin. And it's a four to three game in the fourth. Nia Jones, the sophomore. It's his high ball one. Well, the Panthers raced out to a 4-0 lead, and here comes Grambling. This is what Grambling has done. They battled and battled and battled. One and on the count, 4-3. This pitch strike called 1-1. One And when we talking with previous assistant coach Joseph Lane, I asked him, what about Grambling? He said, they never they never quit. They get better and stronger as the game goes along. Here's a fly ball in the center. It's caught. One away as Garcia hauls it in for the first out of this fourth inning. So the Panthers, a grand slam by Tally, put the Panthers up 4 nothing, but then Grambling with two in the third and inside the park home run off the bat of Irvin makes it a four to three game. One out, bases empty, top four. Fans still buzzing about that. One one the count. This is what these rivalries are about. Top two teams in the West. Brave you, the number one seed in the West, Grambling the number two. There's a shot in the left, and this ball is all the way to the wall. Extra bases for Robinson, and a double. For Robinson, and
And the Panthers have the tying run at second. The Tigers have the tying run at second. Maya Johnson. So here comes Grambling. They were down 4 0. Cut it to 4 2. And inside the park, home run by Irvin made it 4 3. And with one out, a double by Robinson. Tying run is at second. Oh, off to the right side. Owen won the count. 4 3. Bravey with the lead. Runner at second, one out. Pitch to Johnson. This is outside. I think the Prairie View bullpen starting to get warmed up. Of course, if Grambling wins this game tonight, we'll be here tomorrow. If Prairie View wins this game, they win the championship. Here's a fly ball into medium depth center. Caught in center, runner tags, and the throw is offline. Robinson to third. Tying run at third. Bring up Deja Russell, the right fielder, the number eight hitter. Heading to a fielder's choice. The tying run for the Lady Tigers is at third base. This one's 4 nothing. now 4-3. There's the pitch strike called. Well, that's what this championship game's supposed to be like. Back and forth. And preview a big swing by Tally, a grand slam. The Panthers jump out, and here comes Grambling. 4 3. Uh, check swing. Paul says she went around. Tying run is at third for Grambling. Massey, a pitch away from getting out of this fourth inning. 0-2 the count. The pitch. Pokes it foul off to the left side. Grambling trying to extend this to a Saturday winner take all. Brave you trying to end it tonight. 0-2 the count. 4-3. Brave you. Runner at third. Two out. Chopper to second. Inning over, but Grambling, a run on two hits. The inside the park home run by Irvin, and one left. And we'll take a timeout here. We have a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. 4-3, Braveview with the lead. The Panthers huddle up, and the Panthers at the bottom of the fourth. Smith, Barnes, and Garcia, bottom of the lineup, coming up after this on the SWAC Digital Network. We are a limitless future. Opening new doors, new ways, new everything. We are past, present, and future. All in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. Chevrolet. Honor to support the Southwestern Athletic Conference. HBCUs are anchored by legacy. They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization and upgrades of the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream, all hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. Retool Your School, we're powered by purpose. see what's taking place here. Grambling huddling up defensively and for the Lady Panthers, Destiny Smith will lead it off. Maya Barnes and Audrey Garcia, 7, 8, and 9. Good game here in the championship round. We started with 8. We're down to 2. Top 2 seeds in the West. Charles Edmond here. Glad you can join us on the SWAC Digital Network. Destiny Smith grounded to second her last time up. There's the pitch, misses ball one. 
Janisha King, third inning of work as she took the place of Gibbs, who went two innings. Four runs, didn't. Here's the pitch. Four runs on one hit, the grand slam. Two and all the count. Grambling's gotten right back in it. But King has fallen behind Smith, 2-0. 2-0 oh. oh pitch. Miser is high, 3-0. and oh. And on the count here in this bottom four. One run lead for the Panthers. Best strike call, three and one. Again, if the Panthers win this game, they win the championship. Grambling's trying to force a winner take all tomorrow. Three and one the count. Here's the three one. Ball four. Lead off walk. The first time in this game the leadoff has been on for the Panthers. Maya Barnes off her last time up. The Panthers have been issued four walks. There's a bunt, pitch is high. Now that is a rise ball. I was reminded that there is no such thing, and it's true. There's no such thing as a rise ball. You, you're just used to, it's an excuse, but you're just used to saying riser and it's a rise ball. This pitch is high. 2-0. 2 and 0 the count. Time called. Second baseman Wells trying to Get Gibbs back on track. Leah Wells, and a couple of seniors. Grambling starting nine. Two and all the count. Four, three. Preview. There's a bunt out in front of the plate. Folds. With the 4 3 and the run over on third, and she is out at third. So Grambling makes the relay work. And to get the runner, Destiny Smith. Let's just look at how this is executed. A bunt, fielded by Fultz. Good throw to second, Destiny Smith covering, and look at the strong throw across to third. Yep, the ball's waiting on Smith. It's a pitch strike called. All in one the count, two out. Base is empty. Four to three, Brave you with the lead. Base is empty. The 0-1, pitch is low, one and one. I mean, for a coach at third base, it's great when it works. When you have speed, you can get there. But then you just wonder, and that's just softball. I mean, if it's executed properly, it's going to be tough to get to third. Everything has to work. Throw has to be online. The throw from home plate and thrown across. Two and one to count, which is low. And I'm sure teams practice that all the time. It's got to be executed perfectly. And it was that time by Grambling. Three and one to count. Bottom of the fourth inning. Four, three. Prairie View, the pitch, strike called. The Panthers with the one big swing. Aaron Talley, a grand slam to put the Panthers up. And then Grambling with two in the third, one here in the fourth. 
The pitch a chopper off a short base hit for Barnes. A single for Barnes. Third hit for the Panthers. Nunez at the plate. This pitch strike called. All one to count. Me and Nunez. It's the 01. It's a base hit in the left center field. And it's first and second. Good play in left by Moore to cut it off. First and second. Let's watch this play here. I mean, it's a it's a good play by Moore to cut it off. If she doesn't cut that off, if it gets by her, Panthers get a run. So you can put a circle around that play. It makes it two on for the Panthers. We're going to get a pinch hitter or a pinch runner. I believe a pinch hitter here for the Panthers. So a pinch hitter, Madison Parker. That's 56, I'm sorry. Tally a tally. So tally at the plate. And a pinch hitting roll with two out and two on. This pitch strike called. Figueroa on deck. Panthers with a 4-3 lead. Here's the 0-1. This is outside. One and one. One and one the count. Two out. Four three Panthers with the lead. Pitch is low and outside. Two and one. Panthers trying to add to their four three lead. Grambling trying to get out of this fourth inning. The two one. Foul straight back. Count is even, two and two. Chance for the Panthers. After they raced out to a four nothing lead, it's four three and Cravey trying to add to it here with two on. Two out, the count is two and two. A chopper to the second baseman, the throw is there. Out, and I think Vernon Bland well, he's not going to challenge. There'll be a re-enter coming up, so he doesn't challenge this. Bang, bang, play. Side is retired, and we go to the fifth inning. Let's take a look at it here. And Pretty close. Feel it at second, and the quick throw. Oh, yeah. And she's out. No runs, we'll take a break no here. Run. We'll be right back. And two left Vernon Bland doesn't challenge. We'll be right back after this timeout. Top. We are a limitless future. Opening new doors, new ways. We everything. We are past, present, and future. All in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. Chevrolet, honored to support the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Hydration dropping. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
rapid rehydration initiated. Unlock specialized blend of five electrolytes. Rapid rehydration to get you back on your game. Gator Light. Now available in powder and Gator Light Zero Sugar. And we welcome you back to Gulfport. Bang, bang, play at first. Vernon Bland does not challenge. Looking at the uh, replay a couple of times, he might have had a case. Let's take a look at it here. Chopper to second. Ooh, it's close. Vernon Bland does not challenge. Bolts at the plate. Fultz, infield single her last time up. Pitch is inside, ball one. We are underway. Massey still in. Top of the fifth inning, one run game. Prairie View wins this game, they win the championship. The 1-0. 2-0 the count. Well, Grambling's worked Massey a little bit. This is where your bullpen comes in. 2-0 the count. Top five. Is the 2-0 strike call, 2-1. Well, in this tournament, the Panthers have only used two pitchers, Kalen Massey and Jericho Rojas. 2-1 the count. Some pitch misses outside, 3-1. Three and one the count. A check swing. Did it hit the hand of the bat? This is the 75th pitch. Well, the count is full. Three and two. Full count three and two. Number nine hitter Fultz. One run lead for the Panthers. 76th pitch coming up. A foul off to the right side. Count remains three and two. Panthers win this game. They win the championship. If Grambling wins, I'll force a winner take all tomorrow. Here's the three two. Off speed, she laid off of it. Ball four. Well, folks, watch that one sail low. Fultz, a leadoff walk. And so we're going to get a pinch hitter or a pinch runner. I believe a pinch runner here for Fultz. Asley Strozier will pinch run. Strozier represents the tying run. Well, Strozier. at first in the top of the fifth inning. Here's a bunt, backhanded, bobbled, and everybody is safe. Massey tried to backhand and bobble. Third base couldn't recover, and Vernon Bland with a quick walk to the pitching mound. It was off of Massey. Davis bobbled it, and Grambling is two on. And Vernon Bland will come out, and we've got a pitching change coming up for the Panthers. Maybe. Nope, not yet. Not yet. Pitching change, not quite yet. Rojas going down to the bullpen. So this is a bullpen visit to get the bullpen ready. Vernon Bland wants to make sure everyone is on the same page. But it gets Rojas ready in the bullpen. She sprinted down into the bullpen. So the Tigers have two on. None out. 
A walk and a bunt single. Collins, sacrifice, fly it out. So the bullpen busy for the Panthers. Tigers have the tying run at second. Go ahead, run at first. Asia Collins at the plate. This is high ball one. Well, what will Grambling do here with first and second? Nobody out. Sacrifice in order. Right now, looks like Collins is swinging away. All in one. Lays down a bunt. Fielded by Massey. The throw to second baseman covering is good. The sack is good. Second and third. One out. One four sack. So Strozier at third, Moore at second. And it'll bring up India Wells, who's 0 for 2. Grounded to short and to second. Tying run is at third. Go ahead, run at second. One out. 4 3 preview. Pitch strike call for Massey. 4 1 the count. Well, for Vernon Bland, that visit was nothing more than just to get the bullpen warmed up. Oh, and one to count, one out. Prairie once led 4-0, now 4-3. Here's a bunt. Runner trying to score and the throw, and she is out at home. And here comes Nakia Hall to challenge. So she uses one of her two challenges here. Let's take a look. Bunt, and the throw, and Nakia Hall is saying her hand went over the plate before the tag. Let's, let's take a look at it here. The, the call on the field is that she's out at home. Let's see from this angle at third. It's, well, this is the angle right here. Well, from the center field cam, we got a bunch of angles to look at here. This is probably the angle from behind home plate. So did the hand get in before the tag? This is taking a good look here. So we've got three different angles to look at. Center field angle behind home plate. The angle from behind home plate is probably the best, but the. And she is safe. And Grambling has tied it up. So the sacrifice works, and Grambling has tied it up. 4 4. Here comes Vernon Bland, and I believe we might have a pitching change coming up here. And we will have it. So Grambling has battled from 4 0 down. Timeout here. We'll take a break. Pitching change coming up for the Panthers. 4 4 game here in the fifth. We'll be right back after this on the SWAC Digital Network. We are a limitless future, opening new doors, new ways, new everything. We are past, present, and future, all in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. Chevrolet, honored to support the Southwestern Athletic Conference. You join the HBCU family. You become part of the tradition and bringing it with everything you do in the classroom and on the field. That's why Academy Sports and Outdoors is proud to celebrate the HBCU legacy and all those adding to it. Haley Elizaris, you're looking at her. So she's the first pitcher other than Massey and Rojas to throw. Elizaris on the mound. Well, 
for the Panthers as Grambling has fought back from 4-0 down. Haley Elizaris, the sophomore from Spring, Texas. Elizaris with the go-ahead run for Grambling at third. First and third, one out. Grambling's come back from 4-0 down to tie it up. This pitch strike called. Warren Irvin at the plate. Inside the park home runner last time up. Grounded two short. Fouls it off here. Elizaris. 17 appearances during the season. This is their first appearance here in the tournament. Five and six with a 6.04 earned run average. 0-2 the count. Pitch is low. So you have Rojas Massey, Elizaris. Then you have Kaylee Herrera. Brianna Reina for Prairie View. Those are the arms for the Lady Panthers. Here's the one, two, foul off to the left side. Well, Grambling continues to do what they do. They continue to fight and scrap and battle. And they've done it again. Down four nothing at one point. They've tied it up at four here in the fifth. Count is one and two. Runners on in second and third. Grambling can grab the lead here. Here's the one two. Ground ball to second. A run is in. And Grambling has the lead. Grambling has the lead. An RBI ground ball to second. The Tigers lead five to four, so they've come back from four nothing down to grab the lead here in the fifth. This misses ball one. Nia Jones struck out, fly to center. It was four nothing preview on the grand slam by Aaron Talley, but the Tigers have battled back to grab the lead, 5-4, top five. This pitch is low. Again, if Prairie View wins this game, they win the championship. If Grambling wins, we'll be back at you tomorrow. 2-0 the count. This pitch strike calls. Prairie View trying to win their... Second straight SWAC tournament title. Two and one the count. Eighth meeting between these two teams. Here's the two one. Fly ball into right. And it's caught and right by Barnes. Side is retired. But two runs on a hit. Grambling. With a 5-4 lead. Bottom of the fifth inning coming up here in the championship. We'll be right back after this on the SWAC Digital Network. HBCUs are anchored by legacy. They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization and upgrades of the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream, all hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. Retool Your School, we're powered by purpose.
you join the HBCU family, you become part of the tradition and bringing it with everything you do in the classroom and on the field. That's why Academy Sports and Outdoors is proud to celebrate the HBCU legacy and all those adding to it. We welcome you back to Gulfport. Top two seeds in the West battling it out for the SWAC tournament title. The number one seed, Preview, the number two seed, Grambling. 5 4 Grambling. If you talk to Preview folks about this, par for the course, this is what Grambling does. They battle back against Allcorn, they battle back against the Panthers. They seem to get better and stronger as the game goes on. It was 4 0, and Grambling has battled back. They have the lead. 2-0 the count. King in for Gibbs. She came in in the third inning. This is her third inning of work. 2-0 the count. 5-4. Grambling. There's the 2-0. Strike call. 2-1. Well, won the count, Viviana Figueroa grounded to first and back to the pitcher. 0 for 2. Here's the 2 1. Misses 3 and 1. Bottom of the fifth inning. If Preview wins this game, they win the championship. If Grambling wins, we'll be here tomorrow. We'll winner take all. It's pitch ball 4. A well, leadoff walk to Figueroa. And it'll bring up Raina Lewis. And we are, are going to get a either a pinch hitter or a pinch runner for Figueroa. Looks like a pinch runner. Grisma Edmondson, pinch running for Figueroa. Edmondson, pinch running, represents the tying run for the Panthers. Pitch to Lewis, a ground ball to short, throws the second for one over the first, safe. 6-4, fielder's choice. Got the lead runner, Edmondson. And Lewis is at first. One out, Jalen Davis at the plate. Davis walked and fly to short. One on, one out. This is a wild pitch. And Lewis to second. So now the Panthers are a base hit away from tying it up. One and on the count. Five four, Grambling with the lead. Here's the one zero. Strike call one and one. One and one the count. One out. Misha King in her third inning of work. He's got a jam here to deal with. Pitch is high. Two and one the count. Two and one the count, one out. Here's the two one. This is outside. Count is three and one. You won the count, one out. Five four, Grambling with the lead. 
Here's the 3 1. Ball four, first and second. Aaron Talley. Talley hit the grand slam. And she flied to second. We might get another pinch runner here. Kamaya Brown in for Davis. Pinch running. Pinch runner for Prairie is number 11, Kamaya Brown. Kamaya Brown at the plate. Pitch to Brown. Low ball one. Pitch to Tally, I should say. Brown, the pinch runner. So two on for the Panthers. Tally one for two with the grand slam. Here's the 1-0. This is outside. Now if you're grambling, you know what she's done. You have a base open. If they're pitching her way. 2-0 the count. One out. 5-4. Grambling. Here's the 2-0. -oh. <laughs> Two and one to count. Two on, one out. Here's the two one. And a shot to short, and we've got a double play. Six unassisted double play, a line shot to Collins. Stepped on the bag, side is retired. Dazzling play there, that saved a run, maybe two. As they take a look at it here, this was hit right on the nose. I'll tell you what, we'll take a timeout here. We'll be right back. We'll take another look at it, but that was a good play. We'll be back after this timeout here on the SWAC Digital Network. We are a limitless future. Opening new doors. That was a good play. New ways. Six unassisted double. We everything. We are past, present, and future. All in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. Chevrolet, honored to support the Southwestern Athletic Conference. HBCUs are anchored by legacy. They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization and upgrades of the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream. All hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. Retool Your School. We're powered by purpose. That was a gap shot for sure. If that lands, that's extra bases. That might clear the bases. Put a circle around that play. One of the plays of the game. Top of the sixth inning. Deanna Robinson at the plate. Robinson to Maya Johnson and Deja Russell. Six, seven, and eight in the lineup. Count is 2-0. Oh. Again, if the Panthers win this game, they don't have to rally to do it. They win the championship tonight. If Grambling wins, we'll see you tomorrow. Here's the 2-0. Oh. Low, 3-0. Oh. Oh. 
Three and all the count. One run lead for the Tigers. Battle back from four nothing down. We've had an inside the park home run and a grand slam in this game. Here's the 3 0 low ball four. Tamaya Johnson stands in. Well, that's a heck of a play by Collins. Again, if that ball falls with a lot of, a lot of stuff on it, that may go to the wall. A run definitely scores, maybe two. So that's a big play in this game. Here's a bunt. Fielded. And the throw to first. The sack is good. Robinson moves to second. The the sacrifice one, by Tamaya Johnson. Let's take a look at it. It's fielded for the first out. Asia Russell stands in. A 1-6 fielder's choice. Last time up. The pitch. Strike called, 0-1. Fans riding on every single pitch. Close game, momentum in Grambling's favor. After Prairie View, led 4-0. Here's the 0-1. Foul off to the left side. Top of the sixth inning. Eighth meeting between these two teams. Prairie View. One, five of the six. They met yesterday. Pray if you won. Here's the 2 Swing and a miss. And the Tigers now with two outs. Two outs. The runner on second base. Elio Zaras. Trying to put out a fire here. And they'll bring up the number nine hitter, Yana Foltz. Singled and walked. Five four, Gramlin. The pitch. Strike call right down the middle. Oh one. One the count. Two out. Runner at second. One, Fultz jammed and popped it up foul. Oh and two. Oh and two the count, two out. Here's the O2. Foul straight back. Right at us for the net. Your human instinct says you just got to flinch, even though you've got protection in front of you. <laughs> I went to the count. Things have gotten interesting here in the SWAC championship game. Panthers raced out to a 4 0 lead. Grambling leads 5 4, runner at second. Pitch to Fultz. This is outside. One and two. One and two, the count, two out. Five, four, Grambling. Fultz trying to add a run here. The one, two. Another foul off to the right side. Count remains one and two. One and two, two out. One, two pitch. Ground ball, base hit in the left field. Runner around third, here's the throw home. It's too late, Folks to second. Grambling has a 6-4 lead. 
RBI single by Fultz. Scoring Robinson. Grambling with six unanswered after trailing four nothing. They lead six to four. Yana Fultz has been on base three times. Two hits and a walk. 6-4 Grambling. Top of the lineup, Aitlin Moore. They have a wild pitch, Fultz to third. Well, it just shows you how things change quickly. The inside the park home run kind of got Grambling going a little bit. After the grand slam, got Preview off to a good start. 1 0 the count. This pitch strike called. 1 and 1. 6 4 Grambling. Top of the sixth inning. 1 and 1 the count. Time called. Count is one and one. Two out. One one pitch. Trying to butt. Fouled off to the left side. So Grambling coming right back. A leadoff walk, a sacrifice. An RBI single by Fultz. Scoring Robinson. Grambling six. Preview four. Again, if Grambling wins this game, we'll have a winner take all tomorrow. If Prairie View rallies in this game, they win the championship, their second straight. But right now, Grambling out in front. One and two, two out. Slap to short. Play cannot be made, and a run is in, and it's seven to four. Moore, an RBI infield single, scoring Fultz. I think it was hit too deep in a hole, just couldn't make the play. Got speed, you don't want to throw it away. The Tigers get another run, a couple in, and it's seven to four, Grambling. They've scored seven unanswered. Seven to four, top six. Collins, a couple of sacks, glide out to the pitcher. Seven to four, Grambling with seven unanswered. Pitch try called. Well, we were warned, hey, Grambling is a team that gets stronger as the game goes on. We saw Grambling battle in the all-corn game in late innings. Battling here after being down four to nothing. They're up seven four. It's a pitch strike called. Zaras trying to get out of this inning. We've already used Massey. Zaras. 0-2 the count. Trying to get this third out. A couple in for Grambling, which is high. One and two. Top of the sixth inning. Again, a Panther win, they win the championship. A Tiger win, we'll be back here tomorrow for a winner take all. One and two the count, two out. The one, two, foul straight back. Count remains one and two. Top of the sixth inning, what a championship. We've had ebbs and flows, come from behind wins. Here's the one, two. Ending over, foul tip, catcher held it. Side is retired. Two runs, two hits, a walk and one left. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Grambling once down four, nothing, up seven, four. We back after this timeout as the Panthers come up in the bottom of the sixth inning on the SWAC Digital Network. We are a limitless future, opening new doors, new ways. 
forgotten everything. For your past, present, and future. All in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. Chevrolet. Honored to support the Southwestern Athletic Conference. You join the HBCU family. You become part of the tradition and bringing it with everything you do in the classroom and on the field. That's why Academy Sports and Outdoors is proud to celebrate the HBCU legacy and all those adding to it. You're taking a look at Shanisha King. It's her game. The team has the lead. Seven to four. Panthers coming up in the bottom of the sixth inning. Destiny Smith will lead it off. Seven, eight, nine. Smith, Barnes, and Garcia. Panthers once up four nothing, now down seven four. Pitch misses outside, ball two. Smith walked, grounded to second. Seven to four, Grambling. Trying to force the winner take all tomorrow. This pitch is low, three and oh. Three and oh the count. Here's the three oh. Lead off walk. Maya Barnes at the plate for preview. I mean, down three runs. If you're burning bland, what do you do? I mean, you're down three runs. It's just the sixth inning. You play it straight up. You swing away. You try to sack. Try to get a run here. How do you play it? We'll see. Barnes digs in. She's square. Pops it up. One out. Instead of laying it down, she popped it up, and that's as animated as Vernon Bland has been all tournament. He had to take his cap off. That's not what he wanted. What he's saying is that you, you bun it, you popped it up on a high pitch. One out, runner at first. This pitch strike called. Audrey Garcia, two for two. Oh, the way it's going right now, part of the lineup still coming up for the Panthers before it's all said and done. Seven for Gramlin. Trying to lay down a butt, pitch is low. Vernon Bland, pretty stoic, down in the third base box. Had to come out and check to see if she went around. She didn't. He's not happy with how well, that went down. He wanted to move the runner along. Instead, it's still runner at first. One out. Pitch to Garcia. Low. Count is two and one. Again, if Grambling wins this game, there's a winner take all tomorrow. If Prairie View rallies and wins, they win the championship. Two and one the count. Here's the two one. Low three and one.
Garcia gets on. The potential tying run comes to the plate. Three and one the count. Bottom six, seven for Gramley. Here's the three one, a chopper to third. They throw over to second. For one, it's dropped. The ball is dropped at second. And now it's two on. See how they score it. Probably a base hit. I think I'll call that an infield single. That was, that was a tough one. Just watching the replay, I would say it's a base hit. Infield single, two on nonetheless. So the tying run coming to the plate. The pitch strike called to Nunez. Nunez. Oh, they call it an error. So an error, two on. There's a shot down the left field. That's fair. Off in the corner. It's seven to five. One run scores. Vernon Bland puts the brakes on. And here come the Panthers. Seven to five. Nunez comes through, driving home a run. Good piece of hitting right down the line. And Vernon Bland brings home one and puts the brakes on. Second and third, so the Panthers are a base hit away from tying it up. Brandy Juarez. Garcia at third, Nunez at second. Tying run at second, here come the Panthers. Seven to five. Second and third, one out. Tying run at second. The pitch, high ball one. One, one and all the count. Fielder's choice there, this pitch strike called. On that play to second, call it a fielder's choice. One and one to count. Bottom of the sixth inning. Tying run at second. Preview with a run. It's seven to five. King gets the sign and brings it home. Uh, straight back. A preview win. They win the championship. Well, Grambling wins. We'll be back here tomorrow. We started with eight, we're down to two. The top two teams in the West, top two seeds in the West. Seven to five, Grambling, they've rallied from four nothing down to take a seven four lead, now it's seven five. One and two the count, the pitch. Ground ball to second, the throw home is low in the tag and he's safe. Some extra activity here. That was a bang bang play at home, a collision at home. And they're going to take a look at this. So we'll take a look at it and see. Gremlin catcher kind of lost it there. There was a collision. Let's we'll see if she's out first of all. Well, she's safe. So she's safe at home. Got tangled up. No question she's safe at home, there's no challenge. But it's that's not the issue. The issue is the continuing action after the play. So Grambling's catcher, Nia Jones. Uh, Nakia Hall will get an explanation.
there's no question she's safe at home, but I don't think that's the issue. So there's nothing, to, well, they're gonna take a look at it. So this is under review. I'm trying to read the lips of Coach Jones. Ketra got tangled up. I mean, that's that's just a softball play. I mean, she, I mean, she she's safe, but I don't I don't know what caused the the frustration from the catcher Nia Jones. I mean, they're gonna look at it. She's safe, I mean, they're looking at it. Starting in the sixth inning, the umpires could initiate a challenge. The question is, did the umps initiate this challenge or did Coach for Grambling initiate it? The umpires could initiate a challenge starting now, the rest of the way. Question is, what got Nia Jones so riled up. I mean, that's a bang bang play. There's a collision. Now they huddle up. So Jones stays in the game. Well, I thought that would, that's to me, obviously worth looking at. It was close enough to take a look. No question that she's safe. And the other thing is that Jones stays in the game despite you know, what happened after the play. It's the intensity of the moment where people leaving the dugout. Seven to six, and here's a fly ball in the deep left field, and it's going to be caught in left runner tags, and the game is tied. So the Panthers have come right back. As Nunez scores. We're tied at seven. So a seesaw game. So Raina Lewis at the plate. Two out in the inning. Pitch is high, ball one. So the Panthers with three runs in the sixth inning. The go-ahead run is at first. So Tigers were down four nothing, led seven four. Now the Panthers come back, seven all. I honestly thought what was looked at was not necessarily the play at home. Well, that too, but the continuing action afterwards. But they clearly looked at the play at home. She was safe. And the replay confirmed it. The 1 1. This is outside. 2 and 1. <laughs> 2 and 1 the count. 2 out. Here's the 2-1. Check swing. A rise ball is high. They check at first, did not go around. Three and one. The Panthers coming right back at you. Here's a shot to second. It's a 7-7 game. So 7-all. We go to the seventh inning. So the Panthers come right back. 7-all here in the seventh inning.
So we'll take a break right here. We'll be right back after this. We got a ball game here on SWAC Digital Network. When you join the HBCU family, you become part of the tradition of breaking barriers in your community, breaking ground in your career, and bringing it with everything you do. From how you look to how you move in the classroom, on the court, and on the field. That's why Academy Sports and Outdoors is proud to celebrate the HBCU legacy and all those to add to it in their own way. HBCUs are anchored by legacy. They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization and upgrades of the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream, all hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. Retool Your School, we're powered by purpose. Seven all, the Panthers. Rally back with three. Seven all game. We go to the top of the seventh inning. Jericho Rojas in for the Panthers. Grambling with three in. has been back and forth. Grand slam by Tally. Put the Panthers up four to nothing. Grambling scored seven unanswered. But the Panthers come back and score three in the sixth. We're here in the seventh. Again, if the Panthers win this game, they win the championship. If Grambling wins, we'll be here tomorrow. So Grambling coming up here in the top of the seventh inning. Top seven. Seven, seven. Lucky sevens. Andy Wells at the plate. It's been some game. Pitch strike called. Rojas. Third appearance, 14 innings pitched, 2-0 and in the tournament. Here's the 0-1. This is outside, 1-1. One 1-1 and one. One and one the count, 7-all game. Panthers win this game. They win the title for the second year in a row. Grambling wins, of course, a winner take all tomorrow. Ground ball in the hole, it's a base hit. Lead off single for Wells. Lauren Irvin. Lead off is on. This pitch strike called. One one the count. Seven all in the seventh. Is the 0 one. This is outside. One and one. You see the lead off. India Wells. Is it a sacrifice here? Try to put Grambling back on top. The 1 1. She's swinging, pitches inside. Nia Jones, the catcher, on deck. She's 0 for 3. Count is 2 and 1. Game started at 6.03. Two hours, 
16 minute game. Shot in the shallow left center. It's going to be caught in left by Nunez. One away. We'll bring up the catcher, Nia Jones. Jones at the plate. to Jones, strike called. 0-1. Oh and 1-1 oh the count, one out. The 0-1. Swing and a miss. Way out in front. Down is 0-2. The lead off India Wells at first. Oh and 2 the count, one out. Rojas, third pitcher for the Panthers. Popped up. Shallow right, caught on the run, and right for the second out. Orange on the run, hauls it in. Mile high in the air, out in front of the plate. He's coming on to make the catch. Two outs. Tatiana Robinson double grounded to short and walked. Here's the pitch. It's right call. One won the count. Two out. Seventh inning, 7-7 seven, seven in the seventh. See a one. Runner going, 0-2. India Wells steals second. Now it's getting interesting. A base hit could give Grambling the lead, but Rojas is ahead of the count. 0-2. Top seven. Is the 0-2. Popped up on the infield. Rojas has it, side is retired. And we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. A grambling win. We'll be here tomorrow. Prairie View scores in this seventh. They win their second straight. Tournament Championship. We'll be back after this. Bottom of the seventh, 7-7 seven, seven game. You're on the SWAC Digital Network. We are a limitless future. Opening new doors, new ways. New everything. We are past, present, and future. All in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. Chevrolet, honored to support the Southwestern Athletic Conference. When you join the HBCU family, you become part of the tradition of breaking barriers in your community, breaking ground in your career, and bringing it with everything you do. From how you look to how you move in the classroom, on the court, and on the field. That's why Academy Sports and Outdoors is proud to celebrate the HBCU legacy and all those to add to it in their own way. Softball season is a grind. Over 50 games, midweek games, weekend games, dealing with weather, injuries, 
issues, personnel. You start the season in the frigid cold. You end the season in the heat of the moment. You dealt with most of that here in Gulfport. The Prairie View Panthers at the plate in the bottom of the seventh inning with a chance to win their second straight tournament championship. Jalen Davis, who is a home run threat, leading it off. Asia Richard on the mound for Grambling. Richard facing Davis, who is a home run threat for the Panthers. Asia Richard, her second appearance in the tournament. She's pitched 11 and two thirds innings. Pitch to Davis. Strike called for our last game here. Alcorn and Grambling. Extra innings. Could we be looking at extra innings here? We'll see. Here's the 0-1 to Davis. Off speed, she lays off of it. One and one. Davis walked twice and has fly to center. One and one the count. 7-7 seven, seven game in the seventh. Here's the 1-1. One, one. This is outside, two and one. Here's your Richard in the tournament, ERA of 2.40. That struck out three, who's walked two. Two and one the count. Mr. Davis, swing and a miss. Two and two the count. Five, six, and seven. Tally. It's coming up. Next, she hit the grand slam and Destiny Smith. Two and two the count. Pitch to Davis. Just missed. The catcher Jones froze it. And the home plate umpire, Eddie Brown. Full count. Here's the three, two. Misses ball four. Lead off walk. Aaron Talley at the plate. Vernon Bland, you assume and expect the sacrifice here. Tally with the grand slam when her first at bat. This pitch misses outside. Tally grounded to second and the grand slam to put the Panthers up four to nothing. One and all the count. Here's the one over. The one oh. This is outside. Two and oh. Well, right now, this pitcher is struggling to get it over the plate. 2-0 the count. This is a sacrifice situation for the Panthers. Right now, it's hard to say because at this point, Shard is struggling to get it over the plate until now. Strike call, 2-1. Right now, she is not showing any incl inclination to bunt here. Two and one the count. Here's the two one. Three and one. Three and one the count. We'll see on this three one pitch how disciplined Tally will be. Ahead in the count, three and one. Seven seven, bottom of the seven. The three one. Check swing, ball four. Two walks to start this seventh inning. The go-ahead run is at second base. Destiny Smith is walked twice, grounded to second. How will Vernon Bland play this? Destiny Smith. 
so far this pitcher struggling to get it over the plate here. It's walked the first two she's faced in the seventh inning. 7-7 seven, seven game in the seventh. Panthers led 4-0. Grambling led 7-4. The Panthers tied it up. And here they are in the bottom of the seventh. They win this game. They win the championship. Go-ahead run is at second. Pitch to Smith. She's squaring a bunt. It's a strike call. And the runners move up a base. There's a wild pitch. There's a wild pitch. And the runners move up a bag. And I think. Coach Hall wants to know if it hit the bat. Was it a foul ball or not? And they say it was not. It went off the catcher Jones's glove. Hall oh, won the count. Winning run at third. Pitch to Smith. Foul straight back. 0-2 the count. Panthers score a run. Panthers win their second straight tournament championship. Count is 0-2. Destiny Smith has walked twice. Number eight hitter Barnes on deck. Here's the 0-2. There's a shot up the middle, it's a base hit, and the Panthers have won their second straight SWAT Tournament Championship. Destiny Smith comes through on base for the third time, two walks, a single to right center field, scoring Davis, and the Panthers rally from 7-4 down to win eight to seven in their second straight SWAT Tournament Championship. This Prairie View team has dealt with adversity since the fall. Loss of one of their players tragically. Another seriously injured in the fall. Purposeful was the word I heard. And you know the emotions will be flowing. They had the orange ribbons, the orange belts. In reminiscence of their teammates, one passed away, one seriously injured. Two years ago, this team started 0-19 and won the tournament championship. Off the field, some issues to deal with. And the Prairie View Panthers have rallied with four unanswered, after being down seven to four, they win their second straight SWAT tournament championship. And what a great tournament it has been. You started with eight, you're down to two, the top two seeds in the Western Division. Well, the Lady Tigers were true to form. They battled late inning. They battled against Alcorn, late inning. Won it, late inning. Battled in this game, late inning. But it was the Prairie View Panthers who got it done. Down the stretch, once down, seven to four. And they win it in the bottom of the seventh inning on a base hit in the right center field by Destiny Smith. Preview eight and Grambling seven. We'll take a break right here. We'll be right back after this. Your 2023 SWAC softball tournament champions for the second year in a row, the Preview AM Panthers. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. HBCUs are anchored by legacy. They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization and upgrades of the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream, all hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. 
Retool Your School. We're powered by purpose. Resume run. Hydration drop. Rapid rehydration initiated. Unlock specialized blend of five electrolytes. Rapid rehydration to get you back on your game. Gatorlite, now available in powder and Gatorlite Zero Sugar. Port. It's been a fun day. We started with eight. We're down to three going into this day. Gramlin, Alcorn, Prairie View. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we ask that you please get set as we get set for our awards presentation. Awards presentation. The all tournament team will pick up that Andrew Roberts of the SWAC office. After every game, win or lose, the head coaches are asked will they were select following that game of the all tournament team and they tally those votes. All right, Andrew Roberts with the awards presentation. The team is comprised of 12 student athletes and the most valuable player. We'll begin with the all tournament team selections first. From Bethune Cookman, how about a round of applause for Jocelyn Davis? From Alcorn State, Kiri Parker. Woo! From Alcorn State, Kiri Howard. Woo! From Alcorn State, Christian Edwards. Woo! From Alcorn State, Arshay Hunt. Woo! 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 From Bradley State, how about a round of applause? for Lauren Urban. If we could please have Lauren step forward to home plate to receive her trophy. Big round of applause for Lauren Urban. Here to present the award to SWAC Commissioner, Dr. Charles McClellan. Irving from Gramlin, four Lady Braves on the post. For State, how about a big round of applause for Tatiana Robinson. Tatiana Robinson for the Lady Tigers. She had a double and a walk in this championship round. She takes a picture with the commissioner. From Grambling State University. How about a big round of applause for Aaron Gibbs? Frank <laughs> Gibbs. From Prairie View AM. Round of applause for Audrey Garcia. Garcia, number nine hitter. She was three for three tonight. To Purdue and University, how about a big round of applause for Kayla Massey? Kayla Massey, conference pitcher. For Purdue and University, big round of applause for Jerrica Rojas. Jericho Rojas, the pitcher that kind of kept it close. Got a big one, two, three inning to set it up for the Panthers to win it in the bottom of the seventh inning. From Prairie View University, how about a round of applause for Aaron Talley? Talley, the designated player 
She had the grand slam to put the Panthers up. Boone Cookman had a player on the all tournament team, Alcorn State University at four. Once again, congratulations to the 2023 Swack Softball All Tournament Team. Next up, your 2023 Swack Softball Tournament Most Valuable Player from Prairie View Anim University. How about a round of applause for Jericho Rojas? Jericho Rojas, the MVP. Congratulations. Beach Army! And now last but not least, your 2023 Swag Softball Tournament Champions, the Prairie View A&M Lady Panthers. And the head coach, Brandon. Vernon Bland, a Prairie View A&M graduate. Been a part of this program over a decade. And the Panthers win their second straight tournament championship and come from behind fashion after being up 4 nothing, down 7-4. They win it in the bottom of the ninth inning on an RBI single by Destiny Smith. The inning started out in a 7-7 game. Jalen Davis walked, Aaron Talley walked. Destiny Smith single brought home Davis. Panthers, you're back-to-back -back tournament champions. That'll do it for the wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the 2023 SWAC Softball Tournament. It's been fun. It's been a pleasure. Up next, Atlanta. Yours truly, Roger Cador, Centoria Black. We'll have coverage of the 2023 SWAC Baseball Tournament from Russ Chandler Stadium in Atlanta, May 24th through the 28th. We'll bring it all to you live. I'm Charles Zippin. We appreciate the opportunity. We'll get ready for the baseball tournament in a couple of weeks. We'll see you then. This has been the SWAC Digital Network. We are a limitless future. Opening new doors, new ways. Everything. We are past, present, and future. All in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. Chevrolet. Honored to support the Southwestern Athletic Conference. When you join the HBCU family, you become part of the tradition of breaking barriers in your community breaking ground in your career, and bringing it with everything you do. From how you look, to how you move in the classroom, on the court, and on the field. That's why Academy Sports and Outdoors is proud to celebrate the HBCU legacy and all those to add to it in their own way. People who come to Cricket, stay with Cricket. Like one of our favorite customers, Michelle. I started my own app company, and with Cricket, I'm able to answer calls from my engineers and investors and know my signal's going to be great. If I had to describe Cricket in two words, they would be reliable and affordable. 5G boss mode activate. Hydration dropping. <laughs> Rapid rehydration initiated. Unlock specialized blend of five electrolytes. Rapid rehydration to get you back on your game. Gator Light. Now available in powder and Gator Light Zero Sugar.